Welcome to a Big Show Entertainment Network special event. Super Dave Reigns and The Big Show on location here at the Cinemark IMAX here in Colorado Springs for a very, very special night. The world U.S. world premiere of Avengers Infinity War. We've been waiting for this movie for, what, about a decade now? Probably 1990 when the first comic book hit. Okay, awesome. So I'm here, uh, your host, Super Dave Rains, and I'm here with one of our favorite special guests, comic book Nate Kowalski, uh, the man that has more knowledge about comic books than any other person in the galaxy, I guarantee you folks. So uh, we're going to quiz him today a little bit. I'm sure he's going to get them all right. But uh, we're going to talk a little bit about Avengers, and then uh, you'll get my lightning reaction after the movie, as we're we're probably about a half an hour from seeing it, and then uh, you'll get my written review on Super Dave Reigns and the Big Show Facebook page tomorrow. So let me get into some questions because I've been I've been wanting to ask you these questions like all day. So I was like, oh, let me formulate, and so uh, I can learn, and all of you can learn. So super cool nation. Um, so the infinity gems, they used to be the soul gems and now the infinity, they are the infinity stones. Um, can you tell us about the stones? Uh, we'll go by through them one by one, uh, so, what their powers are. So, uh, so it depends because Marvel's been changing the, how they function over the, this last iteration. So. I hadn't been reading the new ones. I tell you on the old ones, but Marvel has been linking them together, like right. with the Search of Wolverine and all that. So they've been changing their functions. Right. I we I do understand that, but yeah. so people can just get a basic, yeah, basic. Uh, you know, premise or uh, of how they work and what their powers are and why Thanos wants them so badly. So I understand that uh, that one he has all six gems. Are, are stones that he is um, omniscient, omniscient yep. and he's omni uh, uh, potent right. as well. So, uh, can you tell us about the mind um, gem? So that would give him control over all per basically everybody. They would bend to his will, right. and uh, reality, all creatures everywhere would do what he says. And there's very few people that would be very resistant right, to so it, that gem. Right, so it gives them the power of persuasion, basically. Yes. Okay. Uh, can can you tell us a little bit about the soul gem? So the soul gem, that that's kind of... Even I, I've read the comics, and that one's kind of hard to right. to persuade. That's kind of like dealing with, like, Mephisto and, and determining where people go. Right. And there'll be some arguments on how comic people read that one but that gives you sway over your afterlife right which is really where he wants to be because he wants he wants death's appreciation yeah, exactly for hella. for for not hella death oh, okay. death, itself, okay, death itself the the incarnation of death so if you go to the comic books you'll notice there's the grand grand celestial and you know eternity death right. the representation sister time right. he wants death itself to be his his bride his love wow. and so that's really what he's after at least in the comic books it hasn't said here what he's after in the movies but that's really what he wants right now um correct me if i'm i'm wrong but all that i have read and seen is the is that the soul gem may be in wakanda it, it it could be, but it's they haven't really said yet. All right, so folks, stay tuned for that. We're going to find out very, very shortly. Uh, let me ask you about the uh, space gym. Space, pretty simple. Gives him the ability to go where he wants, when he wants, in space. Right. And do what he wants with it. Wow. Um, how about the power gym? Power, so it would amplify whatever power he has already. So, example, in the comic book, Silver Surfer has the... Uh, has the uh, power cosmic, so if so, that would just amplify his already power that he has. It would just amplify that 
to the nth degree. So for Thanos, depending on where they put him here, it amplifies that right. to the nth degree. Okay. All right, just a couple more folks. Um, tell us about the time gym, and I think Doctor Strange has so, that. So in here they have Doctor Strange having that in the eye. Right. Of, uh, I, I, can, I can never pronounce it. I forget. But it allows him to move where he wants in time to change, right. to change items to his will also. Right. So change events to his favor. Okay, awesome. One last one. Uh, let me ask you about the reality gym. So reality is, a, is, is kind of funny because reality is perception. Right. So again, that's allowing him to change perception to his views, to his favorable outcome. It, it kind of goes with time, but it's changing it to his, to his outcome. That's reality as he sees it. So tell us, tell us about Thanos. Uh, they call him the Mad Titan. Um, tell us a little bit about you know where he came from, so, what his powers are. So you know he had his dad, Kree. Um, he, he had his dad. He felt his dad didn't like him. You know his brother uh, Starfire, and they didn't like him or thought he didn't like him. So he thought he was alone because he was you know he was, he was born a different color. He, he, he's purple. The rest of them are all green. Um, in the old comic books. It, it doesn't say in the Marvel movies. Um, and so based on that, he thought he was an outcast. And uh, based on that, his perception of, of course, reality is always skewed. Um, it caused him to curry favor. He thought he fell in love with death once. And then ever since then, he's always curried her favor and he wanted her to talk to him. And based on that, that has been his goal throughout comic book history is her love and for her to talk to him because he'll always say she's silent and she doesn't talk, but that's what he wants from her. So you'd say Thanos is a villain with a purpose. With a purpose. He has right. purpose. Awesome. Well, let me ask you um, about the Infinity Gauntlet and he wears it on uh, which hand? So the... He, yeah, I knew you were gonna do that, but I think it's his right hand. I because depending on comics, uh, I've got the answer. you got the answer. I'm not gonna remember. Yeah, he actually wears it on his left hand. Left hand but the the purpose is so most of the people can't touch it, but he can. Right. He can touch any stone he wants, but he wants them all in his control. And in, in 1990, he had them all at one time. And um, Adam Warlock and yeah. Silver Surfer were the kind of the main ones to try to stop him. I mean, all Marvel did, but uh, they were the main surprise characters to try to curry that along to stop him. Right. So that was that was the big, but of course we, we're rewriting canon here right. to make all this happen in a short span of what we're doing here. Right, exactly. Do you think we're going to see Adam Warlock? I, I don't think so, because, you know, that really hasn't been introduced. Um, and, I, and this is like part one, I think. This isn't all going to end today. Yeah, so exactly. it could happen before the two-parter is over, but right. I don't think today we're going to see that. Let me ask you about the Black Order. So that that's kind of like in the... Uh, it really wasn't in the comics. It's something he's kind of created here more. Okay. That right. wasn't in the initial comics. They, they And they have rewrote it in the new. Right. So that's something he's using as an army to, yeah, to, to his personal, army you know, to, to make happen. Yeah, yeah, so exactly. before he kind of all did it on his own, and he, it's, his, it's his henchmen, really. So uh, I'm going to ask you about all of them real quick. Know, I'm not have them all okay. Well, let me ask you about Ebony Ma. So he's kind of like his his leader, very very kind of powerful. And I'm not sure how they're going to use him here. I know he did some very twisted things in the uh, in the comic books, right. and he was able to twist people's minds and and persuade these very persuasive. Yeah, he has the power of persuasion, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so that's that was kind of how he got people to do things his way. So right. well, I, that that's how I'm going to see how it works. Okay. Awesome. Kind of like the Purple Man and Jessica Jones. Yes. So uh, I'm going to ask you one more thing. Uh, then we're going to go see this movie. 
and uh, uh, we're really excited about that. So let me ask you about, um, is it uh, Corvin Galleon or? That one, that one, I'm not, I'm not going to lie, I'm not going to, I don't remember him off the top okay. of my head. But. Okay, awesome. Well, I'm going to ask you about one more, Proxima Midnight. So he's kind of a dark character. I, I do remember him. He kind of sneaks in and out. Right. And he kind of makes things right. happen. Right. So it would be interesting to see how they use him here. Right. Awesome. Well, Nate, thanks so much for coming on. Super Dave Reigns in the Big Show. Uh, special event, world premiere of Marvel Studios Avengers Infinity War right here at the Cinemark IMAX in beautiful Colorado Springs. Uh, I want to thank uh, Mr. White and his entire team. They're always so generous and so nice to us. Uh, we are very, very lucky to be able to shoot right here on location. Uh, special thanks to Big Show Q Branch. Uh, those guys do a great job. So we're going to go check out this movie, which is going to be epic. I'm very certain of that. If if it's not, then uh, I'll, uh, yeah. <laughs> I might have some explaining. Wow. Wow. Wow, super cool nation. This is your man, Super Dave Reigns from Big Show Entertainment Network. Super Dave Reigns and the Big Show special event. We just finished watching Marvel Studios Avengers Infinity War, and, and I am stunned. I am stunned. I, we're not going to give any spoilers. I'm here with Don. Don, welcome to Super Dave Reigns and the Big Show. Um, I, I, we just finished. I, I'm stunned. I know you're stunned, but without giving any spoilers, what's your initial reaction to this movie? It was intense. It was, and it was shocking. And the ending was not what I was expecting at all. This is a, like Don said, this is a very intense movie. You you should see it with all of your friends that love Marvel. So is Captain America your favorite? Absolutely, Captain Bucky. Yeah, absolutely. I, yeah, I'm a big Cap guy. You want? Oh, don't be don't be scared now. Come on now. <laughs> all right. Okay, tell them to hold on. I'm gonna, okay, what's your name? Brandon. Bradley? Brandon. Brandon, that's my uh, nephew's name. All right, cool, right on. So I got Spence and Brandon. You guys just saw the movie. I'm still stunned. That's why I'm stumbling my ro words, folks. What did you think? Awesome. Brandon, that was fantastic. We're, are you as shocked or stunned as I am? Yes. Mostly, yes. Yes. Absolutely. Awesome movie, go see it soon as possible. Yeah, and as many times as possible. Oh yeah, we'll be uh, back tomorrow. I, I don't know if I can make it tomorrow, but I'm gonna catch it again this weekend. I tell you what, uh, we're here with uh, Trevor and Shannon, uh, also AKA Gamora. Uh, what are your initial reactions? That is incredible. Like, I'm stunned. Like, I, yeah. I'm lost for words. Yeah, absolutely. Shannon. I slid off my chair onto right. the floor and was just like, this this company just owns my soul. Yeah. <laughs> it owns yeah. my soul. You're not the only one. I think it owns a lot. I, I, I don't know what to say. I mean, it, it was, did you feel an, in, I felt an intensity tonight in that theater. Did you feel that? I, it was so intense. There were parts where people were just silent and usually right. people are clapping like, ooh, it's just silence. I've never heard, I've never experienced that in a Marvel movie. Yeah. yeah. Credits, people like, at premieres, people like clap, they'll like, you know, cheer, but like it was just silence. It was, yeah, I, I would agree with that. Yeah. Wow, there, there's a lot of shock and awe in this, uh, this foyer tonight. So we're here with uh, Big Mike, uh, Aiden, yep. and Mike. Yeah. All right. So welcome to Super Dave Reigns and the Big Show on world premiere night of Marvel Studios Avengers Infinity War. Guys, tell me, what did you think about the movie? Let's start with Aiden. What, what did you think? I thought it was really cool. Awesome. What did you think, Mike? 
Well, um, I really liked it, but my favorite part was when um that one guy no, started. No, no, spoilers. No spoilers. No spoilers. No spoilers. No spoilers. Yeah, no spoilers. No spoilers. No spoilers. <laughs> All right, I really liked it. I thought it was a really good. Who movie. was your Who was your favorite favorite Avenger? Thor. Oh yeah, Thor was awesome. He did steal the show. I, I'm I'm gonna agree with Mike on that one. He's he's got it. Big Mike, what do you think? Hey man, these guys at Marvel, they know what they're doing. All right, no, not trying to knock anybody else, but they, wow. That's all I really gotta say. And uh, you know, for all those who want to uh, go too deep into it, I say enjoy it first, then maybe watch it a second time and get into all the particulars. But just go to see it the very first time, enjoy it because you're in for one heck of a great ride from beginning to end. I mean. I was supposed to go get some popcorn and drink. It, I didn't make it. I didn't want to miss nothing. You know what I'm saying? I didn't want to miss nothing. Yeah, yeah you should have stole your neighbor's popcorn and drink. But I'd agree. I'd agree. Definitely. The Russo brothers, wow. Wow. It's the ultimate cliffhanger, don't yes. you think, guys? Yes, it is. Yeah, okay. we want the next one, like, right now, Marvel. Right now. Right now. Uh, the, the year's going to kill us. Yes. So tell me, what do you give it out of uh, five stars? Spence? I give it a ten. All right. Well, folks, that's that's A plus plus plus. Yeah. Brandon, I give it a twenty out of five. Oh my God, these guys loved it. You know, I loved it. So, Don, uh, out of five stars, what would you give this movie? Four and a half. Right. Four and a half. Yeah, that's a very good score. Yeah. yeah. What do you rate it out of five? Five stars. I give it five. I was. Best. I give it Same. six out of six Infinity Stones. Okay, that's a good one. All right, we're going to start using that. Thank you, Shannon. Yeah. Six Infinity Stones. What do you say, Aiden? I would give it maybe a four, maybe a five. Okay. Mike? Six. Definitely. All right. Big Mike? I'm, I'm giving it a six Infinity Stones as well. All I can say is, man, they, wow. And I just want to say, if you uh, go ahead and spend the extra money and see it in 3D, well worth it, all right? Then I know they want a little more for it, but it, it's definitely worth it. Yeah, absolutely. It's worth it. Get the, get the 3D. All right. So, uh, wow, for Aiden, Big Mike, and Mike, I'm Super Dave Reigns. And until next time, Avengers Assemble in Wakanda Forever. Own the love. <laughs>